Alrighty guys, good morning and welcome back to 1822 MC Adventures and More. My name is Pete, if you didn't know that, and today I am down at the White Oak River at Dixon Field and today's plan is to catch some bait and to catch some keepers. And what I'm doing that today with is some pretty basic stuff. Of course I got my pocket tackle box and in it I have some size 8 long shank hooks. I have a bottom, a double bottom rig, I have some swivels, I have some like, I don't even know what size they are, they're like size big circle hooks, I have some steel leaders, some split shot, a couple of bobbers, real basic stuff. I'll be using some worms from my yard, and the other day I got the bright idea of, I have some carpenter bee traps on my porch. And I had some bees in there, and I thought, well, you know what? I bet those bees might make some good bait. So I'm going to try some carpenter bees today. And the last time I was down here, before I went fishing, I had to clean up after some ass hat. But uh, in the process of doing that, I found a jerk bait, a brand new uh, beetle spin, and a jar of crickets. So we'll be trying some dried crickets today, too. So with that being said, let's bait up. Get me some uh, bait, we'll put it on the big pole, and uh, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm all baited up with that uh, worm, and today I'm using an eight and a half foot fiberglass fly rod that was my dad's, and I got a little 1,000 spinning reel on it. I'm going to drop this just off the bank and see what happens here. Nice one. Alrighty guys, there's a nice one. He's about eight inches. Alright. Let's see if we can't do this again. Alright. Here we go guys. Now here's some bait. Nice pretty little bluegill. Hopefully he'll catch me something sweet. Alrighty guys, so I got a head on here. And this here is uh, Ava Garcia Hank Parker with a 2000 uh, Shimano on it. I don't use it too often. Nothing wrong with this. I just don't use it too often. I'd rather fish with my dad's stuff. But I got an egg sinker, a swivel, and some 40 pound test. I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm just kind of going to push it on out there right towards the edge here and, uh, and see what we can catch. All right, I'm gonna use that little piece of mangled worm. See if we can snag us another one, guys. Nice little shell cracker. A little f swallowed the hook too. Alrighty guys, well I've rehooked that last little fish swallowed the hook. And I've got one of them little uh, crickets on a size 8 long shank hook. And I'm running about 2 feet worth of uh, leader on the bobber. And no BB shot. So we'll just kind of toss this out here and see if anybody will take it.
swear to God, so what I did over there is um, I've got that cricket sitting right at the water level. Maybe something will come up and smack it. Well, I don't think they like that dead cricket. Let's see if they like a dead bee. Of that nonsense, they don't seem to like the bee either. All right, so they didn't like the cricket, they didn't like the bee, so back to a piece of worm. Man, it's a shame these things don't get around seven, eight pounds. Another pretty little bluegill. Nice bait-sized bluegill. Nice colors on him. All right, let's see if we can't get an instant replay on that. Alrighty guys, I'm going to change out the battery real quick for two reasons. One, it's getting low, and two, the quickest way I know to catch a fish is change my battery. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to re-rig this pole up to a double bottom rig. So, see you in a few. Alrighty guys, I'm back, and of course, you know what happened when I was changing out batteries. I caught a fish. I caught a little uh, red breast, and he swallowed the hook, so he's a bait fish. And what I did was I got a double bottom rig hooked up here and I've got a pyramid sinker on the bottom with about six pound test. So if I do get hung up, this will break and in theory I'll get to keep the rig. So I'm fishing with a head and a piece of the body. I don't know what size that bait hook is, but you know, it's a decent sized one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this just off the bank. I don't have a really long pole here, so I'm just gonna put it off the bank and try to keep a tight line on it. And if there's something that's swimming, say a foot and a half, two feet off the uh, bottom, you're probably gonna see this. So I got it set out there, I got the line tight, and I probably won't get a whole lot of warning if something nails it. That was a good toss. I gotta throw out there again. Holy smokes. What do we got here? Another bluegill. Come here, you. He swallowed the hook too, another bleeder, but he's a good a good one. Alrighty guys, here we go again. Let's see if we can do that. One more time.
what I'm doing here, guys, is I'm opening up the bale and I'm holding the line in my left hand and I'm just kind of lobbing it out there, sort of like what you do with a fly rod, and it seems to be working quite well. Ooh, got another one, guys. Ooh, this one feels like we've got some shoulders. Decent size. He's just pissed off for being caught. Hell yeah. He's a good eight inches or so. Uh, not super big in my opinion, but he feels very firm, very chunky. So they're eating well. Looks like another shell cracker. So this worm's pretty mangled up, but let's see if we can get one more. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm really uh, surprised I haven't had a hit on the big rod yet. Ooh, I got something. <laughs> A bowfin. Alrighty guys, it's a bow fin. It's a little dinky one, but he counts. Alrighty guys, so I'm swapping out a battery and I did not catch a fish this time. But while I was swapping the rig back to a, a normal bottom finder type rig, so out of the corner of my eye, I see this log floating upstream. And I look over and I'm like, wait a minute. And then I took a step forward and the log went under. It was a fucking gator that was six, seven foot long. So I've turned the camera around. Might get a shot of him. Hopefully he just went on down the other way. I really don't want him around here, but uh, I'm gonna throw this back out. And I got this guy set at probably three and a half feet and got a fresh worm on him. You know, one thing for sure about the last thing in the world I want out here besides a snake sneaking up on me would be an alligator sneaking up on me. <laughs> All right, what we got here? Whoa. And another nice bluegill, guys. 
Not super huge, but he sure is a pretty one. Nice bait, bluegill. I think I had something going after my stringer. Never fails, guys. Every time I turn the camera off, I end up catching one. It's a shame I didn't have the camera on for this one because he put up a fight. He was jumping out of the water, tail walking the whole nine yards. I'm going to say five and a half to six pounds, and he's about 26 inches. But yeah, this old dog, he put up a good fight. Dang, every time I turn the camera off, like I said, he was up out of the water walking and everything. Awesome fight. All right, guys, that's it. Another episode's up and done. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Hope to see you next time. So uh, what do you say we uh, ride on out of here? Follow me. I know a shortcut. Mm -hmm.